people that we really care about are homeless. Fire destroys a Beaverton home, and the couple who own that home have lived there for more than 40 years. It's 11 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. That couple made it out alive, but now they're homeless. Our Andrew Dimbert says their neighbors are determined to help them rebuild. He joins us now live. Andrew? Yeah, well, Jennifer, Jeff, the important thing to remember is that everyone is alive and okay. But after calling this place home for 41 years, this fire was so intense that it was destroyed in only a couple of minutes. People that we really care about are homeless. A place called home for 41 years. I just felt terrible for them. Gone in a flash. I looked out the window and I heard that the noises and just all I could see was the flames in the air. Kathleen Beaton lives across the street from John and Linda Aleskis, the couple whose home was destroyed in a fire yesterday afternoon. They heard a big boom. We all heard it. You know, I, I heard a couple big booms. And he got up and looked out in the backyard and just told her to run. Thankfully, John and Linda and their two dogs survived after they all ran out of the house when the fire started. But now they're left wondering what next? John and Linda were sitting up uh, two doors up on their friends Liz and Doug's lawn, and, and they were just in shock. And there was just all sorts of people. I don't know where they came from, but they were all over my lawn, all over next door, and uh, just people watching. But it was just it was really frightening. Kathleen set up a GoFundMe account to help the couple that has helped her and other neighbors in their community for decades. I've been here for 20 years, and John's the kind of person that, you know, I can't tell you how many times he's come over here and helped me, lent me a tool, helped me fix something around here. He's always friendly. He always comes over to chat, and it's just, it's just really hard to see this happen to them. Now, another fire burns within this community to do anything for the couple that lost everything. You know, I just thought, God, if that had been me, it would just, it, just to see everything you owned and the home you've lived in for 41 years, just everything gone in a, in a moment, I just felt terrible for them. Now, the cause of that fire is still under investigation, but many neighbors tell us that they heard fireworks just moments before the fire. As for that GoFundMe, if you want to help out John and Linda, you can head over to our website at coin.com. We've listed a link to that GoFundMe page. Reporting live tonight, Andrew Dimbert for Coin 6 News. Jennifer, Jeff.